Hey peeps, what's up? So as you can probably tell from the title today, I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite, all time favorite SPFs that you can use to protect your skin from the sun. I'm gonna literally give you my top three and I also feel like I have tried almost every single SPF on the market. I'm obsessed with SPFs. Also, if you are brand new here, hello, my name is Danny DeFreitas and over here on my channel, we talk about everything that's beauty, lifestyle, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of interior design, a little bit of everything, but yeah, I'm so, so excited. If you are new here, hello. And if you are not new here and you've been here before, hi. How's it going? How are you? Let's chat. <laughs> I feel like we have such a strong little community here and like we always chat in the comments. I feel like I'm always in the comments. I feel like I literally try to reply to every single person. So um, yeah, just thank you so much for all the support. But yeah, let's get straight into the video guys. Let's do it. purpose of this video I have nothing on my skin I literally just have lip balm and also brow products and I also want to apply the SPFs to show you the texture I think it's really 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 important so we are going to be talking about those three things that I think are so so important when it comes to SPF and the first thing is going to be texture for me personally the texture of the SPF is so, so important. If I'm literally just going out and doing my day-to-day -day errands, or if I'm gonna be applying makeup on top of that, texture for me is so, so important. And I love it to give the skin this like really amazing glow. So you're just feeling fresh, you're feeling great. Okay, the next thing I really wanna tell you about is the SPF itself. SPF, why did, why did I say that so funny? funny? <laughs> Which stands for Sun Protection Factor. And I just feel like the actual SPF factor is also so important because the higher the SPF, obviously the more protection you're gonna get. But some of the problems I feel like that happen within beauty products and within the beauty industry is that if you have a really high SPF, that usually means that the product is thicker and it's not always the best consistency and texture for makeup application. And it's just not, not great, you know? If you can find a really thin SPF 50, tell me, please, just tell me in the comments, please, because I'm still looking for that. I'm still looking for that one, okay? I'm still looking. And finally, I'm also gonna be telling you the cost of these products, which I think is so, so important. You know, we all like to save a coin, you know? And although I might be a little bit bougie sometimes, like for SPF, I'm I'm literally, honestly, this, this has to be a daily thing. This has to be a daily thing. So do I think you should be spending lots of bucks on your SPF, something you're gonna use every single day? Probably not, guys. Probably not. Cost is important if you're gonna be using something daily. So let's start with product number one. Okay, so product number one is gonna be this bad boy. Oh, do we guess? Did anyone guess? I feel like you guys would definitely guess because I talk about this all the time on my Instagram and I also talk about this on my YouTube channel as well. I've, I have actually done a full review on this. This is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor. It is a moisturizer and SPF in one and I love it. I absolutely love this product. This is how much I love this product. I think this is the third one I've gone through. I use it all the time. It is currently my go-to. So I'm starting off with this product, but it doesn't mean it's like my number one fave, that all three of them are like equally amazing, but in different ways. So if we're gonna talk about the texture, but, but wait, do we even want to talk about texture? But basically, it's a really cool component. I love what Fenty Skin have done because you can basically reuse the outer packaging. So it's a really good, like, moving forward, sustainable way of just helping the environment, which I love. And it's, I just think it's super cool. Like, it's just so, so cool. Yeah, so anyway, the texture. So it kind of comes out like this. It is a pinky kind of moisturizer cream. And what I love about this so, so much, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a little bit like sticky chewing gum slightly. And I know that might sound a bit like, oh, that's not nice. Why would you put that on the skin? But it's actually amazing. I just feel like it really protects the skin really nicely. So let's apply it onto the face because I want you to see what it looks like. I'm just gonna use, you guys are gonna kill me, I never do this, but I'm gonna use a wipe just so that my skin is like super clean and clear because I feel like it's a little bit, I have got some SPF on, so I'm just gonna take that off. So we have nothing on our face. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite scary filming in like HD and having nothing on your skin, but hey, 
we have a skin journey and we all do and my skin's not perfect i have got lines i've got blemishes i've got pores i've got the the works but that's just real skin so yeah let's go to this so the texture i'm actually obsessed with i usually use around about two to three pumps of this product and I feel quite bad because I'm literally going to put this on and then I'm just going to take it off because I want to show you guys all three. But this is what it looks like on. And probably the most important thing for me is that it does not leave a white cast. I think we all know what I'm talking about. But you know when you kind of like put it on and then suddenly you have this like crazy white kind of like tinge to your skin? Hell no. We do not want that. We do not want that at all. So we definitely don't want anything that's going to like bounce back uh, flash photography. Not that I'm going to get papped, but just in, just in case I'm doing like photos or videos, like, I don't want that to like change the color of my skin underneath the makeup or anything like that. So yeah, we can kind of see already how that looks. And again, the texture, insane. Look at how radiant my skin looks this is why i love this so so much i feel like this just makes my skin look healthy it has a little bit of a glow it's just it looks hydrated but it's protected which is just insane so texture for me is going to be slightly like um chewing gum -y kind of thing but in a good way and the spf or the sun protection factor is actually going to be 30 so this gives you an spf 30 and yeah, I think that's good. I, I would say you should at least go 30 if you can, okay? If you can go 30 higher, amazing. But like I said, sometimes the higher SPFs are just a little bit too thick for me. So mm, this is what it looks like on a skin. Now a price value, I'm just going to look over here. This is where I have all of my notes. And over here in pounds, we have 32 pounds for the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor and it's going to be 35 dollars. Do I think this is worth the money? Yes, absolutely. It's probably like, like middle ground for me. Like it could be cheaper and, but there are loads of things more expensive, but I honestly truly love this product so much. And I just feel like, I'm actually not sure if it's, it's probably cheaper if you just buy the insert, but every time I've got it, I've just got the whole thing, so I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure. P.S. Just a little disclaimer, I have been sent all three products as PR, but by no means is this an ad or I'm getting sponsored or paid to say this at all. Like, generally, I've tried so many different SPFs and this video is literally just me saying what I truly think. So I'm not like, ooh, I'm scared, scared to be removed, removed from, from the, the PR. PR. Like, like it's, it's really, really not, not that, that big of a deal. Like, like it's, it's, this is just something I truly love. Like, I, I love pretty much love everything Fenty Beauty, Fenty Skin, so mm. Anyway, this is what my skin is looking like. What do we think? Do we love it? Do we? Do we love it? Okay, so I've literally just wiped my face ready for SPF number two. Number two, who's ready? Who's ready? Okay, so my second, not my second favorite, but number two, like all of them are equally amazing, is gonna be this one from Estee Lauder. It's called the Perfectionist Pro Multi Defense Aqua UV Gel SPF 50. Mm, th that's right, 50. Yes, again, I might have a few of these. I think I've got around about three, but this one is actually almost finished and I love how small this is. I love how it's just easy to carry around. And honestly, if I'm going away on holiday, this is usually the one I kind of take. If I'm definitely gonna be going on the beach, I'll wear this on my face and then I'll wear like a different kind of SPF on my body. But this is kind of the one that I go, if I am gonna be exposed to sun, then this is kind of the one. Whereas this one is kind of like every single day, even if I'm not going sunbathing, which is very rare in the UK. Okay, so the texture of this, I like to think it's very, very lightweight. How would I describe this? Kind of, I mean, it's it's a gel. So it's very, very like water-based. It's literally just gonna absorb into the skin beautifully. It leaves no cast whatsoever. And it literally just melts away into the skin. So if anything, I feel like it's probably a lighter texture than the Fenty Hydrovisor. And it works beautifully underneath makeup. Like honestly, it's absolutely insane underneath makeup. Now the SPF, as I mentioned, is 50. So again, this is perfect 
perfect for all ages, but definitely if you are maybe more on the mature side and you're worrying and you want the maximum protection you can get, this is, honestly guys, this is the thinnest, most beautifulest texture at SPF 50 that I have found on the market. Honestly, honestly, Estee Lauder, their products are so good, but I feel like they're not like, they need to be like more like, people need to speak about it more because they're honestly, the products are so, so good. But can we see how that like literally just like sinks in? Like it just sinks in. <laughs> Okay, so the price of this product is going to be 36 pounds, slightly more expensive than the Hydrovisor, but it's 50 dollars. I don't know why I say dollars like that. I just have to say it like that. <laughs> dollars. It's 50 dollars, which I think it's, it's now starting to get a little bit up there, but for the amount you get, you get 30 mils in this, I believe, what is this one actually? You kind of have to take it out. This is 50 mils. So value for money, is better gonna be the Fenty Hydrovisor. But honestly, I love this. And it's SPF 50, it's so, so good. All you need really is a small amount. And yeah, I think it's I think it's a really good product. Honestly, really good product. But like I say, I probably wouldn't go for this every day just when you know you're gonna be exposed to a lot of sun. I also just want us to take a moment and look at the skin. And I feel like this is probably less luminous than the Hydrovisor, but it still leaves a really beautiful finish to the skin. So I would feel comfortable just going out like this. You know, it's taken me a while to feel comfortable leaving the house without makeup, but I would feel comfortable leaving the house like this. And I would also say this is really, really nice texture to then apply makeup on top and it doesn't ball. Um, and balling is basically when after a while, when you kind of touch your face and then it starts like crumbling and then you're like putting a primer and putting a foundation and then all your skin is crumbling and then you have to start again. That's like the worst thing, the worst thing ever. So this, none of these do that, okay? And if they do, you come for me, okay? You come for me, you let me know. But like they do not ball, which is really important. Okay, so I'm literally just going to take that off again and show you the next one. Okay, so my third and not least favorite because all of them, like I said, I love equally, but my third fave is gonna be this one from Paula's Choice. And this one is called the Essential Glow Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 with Kiwi and Licorice. So this is probably the newest addition to my collection of SPFs. I have only been playing with this for around about, I wanna say three to four weeks now. And yeah, I quite like it. I really, really, really like it. Okay, so like the previous ones, let's talk about texture. Now, what I was really surprised about is when you pump out this product, it actually looks like gray. It looks like clay. Can you see this? Can you see this? It's not white and it's not see-through and I did freak out a little bit. I was like, what is this? And then I kind of rubbed it into the skin and then it kind of goes a little bit whitish, which then I was freaking out because I hate that like white cast on the skin. And then it just kind of like really melts into the skin and leaves no change in color. So I was like, Right, so I'm not quite too sure why it looks like that. It almost looks like a tinted moisturizer, but it isn't at all. And yeah, I would say like these two are kind of like moisturizers with SPF. And this one is more like a, a gel based SPF, okay? So the texture of this is actually really, really nice. I would say it's probably the most satin out of all three and doesn't give you the same amount of luminosity. I would say it's probably like the more matte looking, it's not like fully matte, but it's the more, most matte looking one. So if you don't like that kind of like glow and dimension, and maybe if you're a little bit more combination to oily and you will just want something mattifying, then you're probably gonna love this option. Some protection factor, the SPF is gonna be 30, which I think is really, really good. And the price of this, again, let me just look at my computer. Yeah, so the price of this is gonna be 30 pounds and roughly around about, I'm just using a converter, but it might be slightly different, like $41. So I think with 60 mils of product, this is gonna be the best value for money out of all three options. But they're all roughly kind of like similar prices, if I'm really honest, like there's only six pounds difference between them, which I think is like, not the, not the biggest deal. Okay, so let's just go ahead and apply this. Like I said, when I applied it first time, I was actually like really scared because I was like, why is it gray? Why does it look like a clay? 
and then it kind of did this like look at this this that scared me when I first done this I was like oh no this is this is not good and then afterwards it kind of just settled and you'll see it just settle into the skin and then it doesn't leave a cast at all my skin's gonna be maybe a little bit red because I keep on applying <laughs> and rubbing in like loads of different SPFs but yeah it's okay I'm gonna be very, very, very protected. Okay, so this is kind of the finish to the skin. I actually feel like it does give you a lot more glow than I kind of remember. But out of all three options, I would say it's the most natural looking. It hasn't really added too much luminosity. It's just a nice amount of healthy and obviously it, uh, right now I'm like in the studio so there's like some bright lights on me but in the normal if I was outside I don't think it would be like too like glowy you know it would be less radiant and just a little bit more of a yeah just a, like a natural kind of skin look okay so that kind of takes us to the end of this video I would love 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 to ask you which one out of all the three looks like your favorite like have you tried any of these? What's your favorite? Because I honestly, I, I couldn't choose one out of all three, but I really, really like all three of these products. Like I said, there's no specific order to them, but I just really, really like it. So please let me know down in the comments what looks like your favorite. Is it gonna be the Fenty Beauty? Is it gonna be the Estee Lauder? Estee Lauder? Estee Lauder? Or is it gonna be the Paula's Choice? Which one? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this, anything skincare, then please make sure you hit that thumbs up so I know to create more content like this. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you're also part of our family come on you know it you want to be a part of this family <laughs> yeah i'm gonna leave all links of these products down below um if you do want to go and check them out and read up a little bit more about them but yeah these are my top three must-have spfs for the spring summer um so make sure you please protect your skin look after it now so that you have better skin for the future, invest in your skin. Like, trust me, it's really, really important to just look after your skin. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have really loved this video and found it educational, helpful, or just funny. And I will see you in the next one. I post every single week, so I'll see you in the next one, guys. I love you so much. Be safe, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye.